hello friends welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos in this video i already made the part one version of this panel how i draft this panel so now i'm going to make a part two version on how to draft the back panel for this off shoulder off shoulder bustier so this is the back panel i took one inch for my zipper allowance so this front panel what you simply do is this I'll just place it straight behind the zipper allowance like this. What I'll be needing here is three lines. I'll be needing my shoulder line. I'll make sure I place it it's all equal. So I'll be needing my shoulder line here. This is my shoulder line. That's my shoulder allowance, shoulder line allowance. Then my real shoulder line. This is my shoulder line. This is the shoulder line allowance. I need this allowance to tidy up the edges of the blouse. Then the next line I'll be needing here is my chest line. You can also call it uh, your bust line if you want to, but I prefer to call it chest line. So the next line I'll be needing here is I'll be needing my waistline here, my waistline. So I haven't gotten the knife that I need. I will take this off. Take the front panel off. Then I'll take my ruler. I'll now draw a straight line. Straight down like this. So I go to my chest line or my bust line. Draw it straight down like this. And my shoulder, draw it straight down, straight down. I've drawn the horizontal lines. I'll take away my front panel. Now I'll start working on my back panel. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to put in my shoulder, my shoulder to shoulder measurement, which is seven inches. So I think I have to buy another tape measure now. This tape measure is, is done. Okay, this is seven inches here. Yeah? So my shoulder line, I put in seven inches plus seven inches here, seven inches here. Yeah. So, my ham hole, remember my ham hole is full of my chest line. So, I'm going to connect the lines here like this, a straight line for my ham hole. Like so. So, now, on my bust line here, or oh, you can come. The next thing for me to do is to, on my bust line here, I will now put in my bust point measurement, which is 8.3. The round of my bust point, what of it is um, 8.3. So I'll go here like this. I mark at 8.3. Then I'll connect the line. Add one inches to it for ease of movement to be on the safer side. Connect the line like this. So, having done that, on my bust line here, I'll put my nipple to me. My nipple to me is four inches. So, here I'll put in four inches. So, at this point, here I'll cut that by one inch. Then on my length of my blouse here, I have here is four inches. Now connect a straight line to this place from here to there. Haven't done this. Can remember there's a mark here. So on my length of my blouse, I'll come up by two inches. So I'm going to connect half an inch from this place. Depending on how many inches you want to take, you can take half an inch or one inch. Totally depend on you. So yeah, I'm going to take half an inch there, half an inch, and half an inch already here. Yeah. So I'm going to connect a straight line here, yeah, like so.
So, how we done this? The next thing I'm going to do is this. Maybe you may be wondering what line is this. I I don't like forgot to put my waist measurement, but this is the length of the blouse. This is my waist measurement, so I I put it back. So this is the waist, and this is the length of the blouse, and this is my chest line. You can call it chest line or bust point line. So have we done that? So we're now putting our round measurement for the waist. My round measurement for the waist, what I have is 6.3. 6.3 m. Plus this one inch shape, put it back. One inch. Like I always say, it's always safer to have a lot of excess for your fabric. So in case you need adjustment. So you put one and a half inch to it. So the next thing you do here, you just simply connect the lines. Yeah, like so from here to that place so you can curve the back depend on how the width or the length you want for your back design like this or you can draw it straight depend on totally on the design you are working on then I can come up by one inch here one inch or two inch you can create a curve, you know, like a curve. You see, it totally kind of depends on the choice you are working on. If you want to have a curvy part on this place, maybe if you want to option that to have a curve like this. So what you do, so you measure the length from here to from my from my shoulder line to my bust line or my chest line. You measure the points here. What I have here is three point six. So divide like 3.6 by 2, what you have is 1.8. So here yeah, I have 1.8 here. It's 1.8, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then you now create a curve. Just take it up like this and create a curve this way. So I'm just using my free hand. Or if you don't want that, you can simply just leave it. So you create a curve. On that curve line, you go up by, you go in by one inch like this. You go in by one inch like this. I'm going to cut through. You need to add that amount back. To be on this first, I just had one inch to it. So from here, just create a curve. That will not have a U ham hole. From here, you create another ham hole curve. So after doing that, you need to add one inch here to bring it down to create an extra curve here. So that's it guys so if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos hopefully you get some idea on how to 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 use this design for your sewing project actually i'll be using this this design for the back for my sewing project to see how it comes out like i'll be using this design maybe let's say from the upper two weeks so i'm going to see how it came out so let me see how it goes so for now one peace, one love, and stay safe, and bye for now. Bye for now.